Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Chevy Studio and today I'm going to be looking at the installation stopped bug that happens on Xbox Series S and X. Now I was downloading a couple of games and I kept getting this error. Installation stopped, it was on Warzone Pacific and it was on Sea of Thieves specifically. And every time I downloaded these games, no matter what I did, it just kept coming up with this error. I went through the internet, I found a bunch of solutions and only a couple of them worked. So I'm going to go through them today. Now I cannot 100% guarantee that this is going to work for you because the problem could be that your hard drive's corrupted on your Xbox box and you need to send it off for repair so if none of this works for you once you've tried this you're going to have to get in touch with microsoft all that being said if this does help you hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more xbox series s content including retro gameplay and setup and let's just dive into it shall we Okay, so as you can see, all my games are now currently installed, including Warzone Pacific and Sea of Thieves. So to get Warzone Pacific to install, what I had to do was I went to the Xbox guide, went all the way over to my name, went to the settings, and then I went to this section in general called network settings, and I went to advanced settings and alternative MAC address. So I'm gonna pop that, boom. And then I press clear, and then it will restart the Xbox. Restarted the Xbox and Warzone Pacific started downloading, which was fantastic. Uh, it got to a certain point and it stopped again. So then I had to try the next method. Hi, Xbox. So the next method that happened when it started stopping again, it stopped around the 26 gigabyte mark. I pressed the Xbox button again and the guide's shown up. One sec, I need to turn my controller back on. So I pressed the Xbox button again. I went down to the settings. And then I went to the system, storage devices, and then I clicked clear local saved games. I don't know why this worked, but for some reason this works. It will restart the Xbox again. Uh, this will clear all your local saved games. And the Xbox does save most of your uh, saves to the cloud. So just make sure that all your games are backed up to the cloud. So when you play the games, it will resync them as well. Uh, and then I cleared the Xbox 360 storage as well. And for some reason, I don't know why, this works on Warzone Pacific installed correctly. And that brought me to Sea of Thieves. Now, Sea of Thieves, I tried to download many times and it just wasn't working. It currently is working, as you can see here, but it just would not install. It kept saying installation stopped. And I tried everything. I turned the Xbox off by holding the power button for 10 seconds. That's another thing you can do. And I also tried the alternate MAC address. I tried resetting my Xbox. So if you want to know how to perform a factory reset, you can check my video on that. That's another thing I did. And that sort of pushed it along to about the 10 uh, gigabyte smarts. I'd backed up all my games and stuff like that. And I just, I just couldn't get it installed until... I managed to change my installation directory. So I have a hard drive plugged in here, a Xbox backup hard drive. So if you don't have a hard drive, you cannot use this method, but you do need a hard drive. Uh, you plug it in. Once you've done that, it's going to come up this screen here where it asks you if you want to use for media or for games and apps. You're going to want to click format storage device. Now, anything you have on this hard drive is going to be deleted. So any files that you need on your hard drive, back them up, put them somewhere else, put them somewhere secret, put them somewhere safe and click format storage device. And it's going to format it for uh, Xbox Series S, X and one. So click new volume. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call this Xbox backup. And now you can choose whether you want to install all your games and stuff onto here, or you can just keep them on your Xbox system storage. So as you can see, my Xbox backup currently has install here by default, and my internal storage is at 63.2%. Now, when I did this, my I only had like uh, 60 to 80 gigabytes left, which I thought would be more than enough to install a game on, but apparently it's not. So what you do is on the Xbox backup, which is the one that I'm on now, you press A, it's not come up here because I've already set that up. So if I go to internal storage, which is the new one, I'll click on that and I'll click that as install here by default. Click install here by default, install new things here. Boom, and now it will install on your hard drive. So I'll, I'll set that back up again, Xbox backup A, install here by default and then install new things. And then for some reason, it just worked. I canceled my current install, started installing again onto the hard drive and it's it worked i don't know why i don't know what's going on there but there are a lot of things that can cause this installation uh stopped bug so i'm going to go through a couple of things that i was recommended to go through as well so some of the things these didn't work for me but they could possibly work for you so the other one is a factory reset so if you go to the system 
go to console info, click reset console, and you can choose to keep all your games and apps that you currently have on. If that doesn't work, you're going to have to remove everything and make sure you have a backup of all your system settings and stuff like that. I've shown you how to do that in a video. The other one was to power the console down by pressing the Xbox button on the front of your console and holding it down for 10 seconds. And then you unplug the Xbox for three to five minutes. You can also do this by going to the general settings, sleep mode, and start up and initiating a full shutdown. Once it's fully shut down, give it a minute or two, pull the Xbox, uh, pull all the cables out of the Xbox, leave it for three to five minutes, turn it back on. Like I said, that, these, these, these techniques didn't work for me, but they are on like Windows Insider and things like that. They, they're the ones that come up for that. But the ones that did work for me was that alternative Mac address and changing my install location to a hard drive. So if you have a hard drive, if you have an Xbox Series S, it's probably best to invest in a hard drive anyway because you don't get that much space. Um, uh, other than that, just making sure that you have enough storage on your Xbox as well, which I think was the problem with Sea of Thieves. Even though the game itself isn't that big, let's see how big it is. Yeah, the game itself is 24.5 gig and I had like 50 gigabytes on my internal storage and for some reason it just wouldn't install the game. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but those are the things that worked for me. If this works for you, then hit that like button. If it doesn't work for you, like I said, you're going to have to go to Microsoft. Um, all of those techniques, at least one of them should work as far as Microsoft's concerned. And if it doesn't, then it's probably a problem with the hard drive on the console or something in the filing system has been corrupted. Um, I knew that it wasn't the hard drive that was co corrupted because I installed Battlefield Hardline and Craftopia and all these games got installed at the same time while I was installing Sea of Thieves. I installed Sea of Thieves first and it just kept going up. Installation stopped. I'm moving on to the next one. With all that being said, if you've, if this video has helped you, like, like I said before, subscribe to the channel. Don't bother with the notification bell. I post a lot of videos and uh, the notification bell it's probably very annoying. It's going to make you want to unsubscribe to the channel. But if you have any other, you can check out my videos for tutorials. I do Xbox tutorials. I do tutorials on emulation, Dolphin emulator being mainly the one that I've got the most guides for, even RetroPie and things like that. And I'm just working on RetroArc for the Xbox Series S. I've made a video on how to uh, install that on retail mode and on dev mode. So for free and by buying a dev license. Uh, I think that's everything, really. Oh, remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Check out my Twitch if you want. Sometimes I stream on Twitch. Uh, sometimes I stream on YouTube. I haven't decided where I want to stream yet. I'm still going. I'm still talking. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, guys.